I could be doing burnouts like crazy over here. So that's what we're gonna do be doing once we're done with the truck. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Danny B here. If you are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, for all you that are uh, fellow subscribers to the channel, thank you uh, for definitely following the channel. Uh, basically, title basically explains itself. I'm finally doing the spark plugs and the wires on the truck. Um, and then we got some extra stuff that uh, I picked up to help out. So, um, and then we're going to do a little bit of fun stuff at the end just to test everything out and see if everything is running correctly. So, finally, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, so, over the course of the week, I ended up picking up um, eight E3 spark plugs. All right. And for you, you know, enthusiasts that want to check them out, there's your code you know they're perfect for the uh 5259 five, liters uh especially on the dodge durango and dakotas um uh we are going to line these up with a set of if you remember i had these on in a previous video finally going ahead and uh installing these all right and at the same time as we're installing these uh to help protect the heat and everything from the exhaust manifold um, or the exhaust uh, headers that I put in uh, in previous videos. Um, to help with the heat, I picked up also off of Amazon. Everything that you see on here, I'll leave a link and uh, description down below for you guys to definitely go and pick up your set if you want to run on your truck. Uh, like I said, I've got a 99 Dodge Durango. It's got the 5.2 liter V8 in it. Uh, it is four wheel drive. Um, so these spark plugs here, like I said, the E3.48 are the ones that fit. And the uh, spark plug wires are uh, 51076. Um, so we'll definitely be installing those here in just a minute. Enough of me rambling, but I also picked up these heat shields. Uh, they're a 1200 degree uh, car heat shield for the spark plugs, um, for the wires that is. So we can protect that from the um, exhaust headers, like I said. Let's get started. There's a few things I need to do, like for instance, I need to take the cold air intake off and then we're gonna go ahead and individually take each wire off and do each spark plug and then I'm going to check each spark plug old uh, each of the old spark plugs to make sure that I don't have either a rich or a lean issue with the engine or if there's any type of oil or situation with this engine so uh, cross our fingers hopefully nothing's wrong so but let's get to it all right all right now that I got my tripod and camera all set up I have my I have my five ace spark plug socket here my channel lock I always keep a little extension with me to make sure I'm gonna change all these little individually I'm gonna start from this side first uh, the driver side I'm gonna do the long end and work my way back and uh, match up <clears throat> excuse me match up all the wires so that uh, I don't screw anything up because you don't want to screw anything up when you do stuff like this so this engine needs to be cleaned again. Ugh, that's a dirty engine. All right, so let's get started. I can. Oh, I'm worried to see what I'm looking at. Perfect spark. I don't see really, there's no oil, and that's all because I just recently got done driving the, so there's fuel in there. You see this prawn here? Say bye-bye to those prawn. Let me actually show you guys real quick. 
So you see the difference. And that's where we're going to be running inside this engine. And if I like these spark plugs enough, this is what we're going to be using in blue on the project drag truck. All right, now that I've got this whole side right here all buttoned up, you guys can see everything is in, good to go. I am going to go ahead and fast forward and take care of the other side real quick. Be done, and we're going to go ahead and test everything out. All right? All right, everybody. So there you have it. Everything is installed. Got the 1200 degree heat protection for the exhaust headers. Oh, well, to keep the heat from the exhaust headers. Let's see if I can get, I don't know if you guys can really, oh, I can get down here. What do you think? Those are all in. Everything is good to go. I got my in cold air intake back on. Um, I managed to find another gasket here, which is cool for the throttle because I didn't have one, so I was actually actually sucking in or losing power. So hopefully we'll get some more power out of that. But you guys are probably wondering what am I going to do about the wires being all loose and everything. So solution to that, <clears throat> I also picked up these right here so these are called uh i think it's lit all right uh lit -Aut makes these uh for ranging anywhere from i think it's six millimeter all the way to 10 millimeter wires now these are um uh, brackets to hold the wires all in like one place so this is a 12 piece set if you see it's a solid and then two small pieces here so you can do your own customizing of how you want your wires to be set up and that's what I'm going to do with these real quick and then uh, after we're done with everything all of it's connected. We're going to start it up. We're going to get the engine and transmission to operation temperatures. Um, and, well, I've got 100 yards of driveway here, which, you know, I should have been doing, you know, some testing 
and everything here. So let me show you guys just, just real quick, real quick. You guys have any ideas what I could possibly do here? Yeah, yeah, we're talking burnout sessions. Like, literally, I, I, you know, I'm such an idiot. Pardon my language, I know that's not a cuss word, but I could be doing burnouts like crazy over here. So, that's what we're going to be doing once we're done with the truck, alright? So, stay tuned, and uh, we're going to have a little fun. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Right there. You see how it's all, it's all nicely bracketed up. It's actually nice because it's kind of like under its own weight, so it'll stay in place. Wires won't go anywhere. They're away from the headers. I mean, everything looks really nice in here. It, it, everything was perfect. It was basically unbolt everything and put everything back together with ease. I got the one Ledot uh, wire bracket there for that. And if you see on the other side, down in there is the other one. And they hold everything in place real nicely. Um, I definitely need to replace this someday. But, yeah, for only a few bucks, it comes with two, it comes with 12 pieces altogether. Each piece comes with its own Allen key. So, it's nice. Uh, four solid pieces to fit four plugs, or plug wires, that is. Or, you can do two individual which is two plugs each which is nice so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna start the truck up and get it up to operational temps for both the engine and the transmission and then we're gonna do some burnouts Well, I really do hope you enjoyed the video um, of me installing the E3 spark plugs, the Taylor Street Thunder spark plug wires, the uh, Lidot um, brackets for the spark plug wires, and then uh, introducing you to the first burnout on my channel, uh, even though it was a one-wheel peel. <laughs> Usually guys like myself that have one-wheel peels, we get made fun of, so please uh be reasonable with some of your comments down below but leave me any comments if you have any uh you know um ideas or uh upcoming videos that you'd like me to do uh i do have a couple of things that i still need to take care of as well that i did explain in previous videos the uh, mirror link for the stereo but i also have in uh my workshop uh my mini workshop um for the front end, uh, inner and outer tie rod end, all right, and upper and lower ball joints. So we're going to be replacing that for the front end of this. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, this video. Um, you know, this whole time that we did everything, I just realized that I have 100 yards of driveway that I could be doing testing on. So we're going to be doing a lot more of that. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing a lot more testing, burnouts. But again, thank you all for joining me. For all of you that are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing if you want to follow me on uh, this build. We are turning Doomsday into a SEMA truck. So, 
Thank you guys. And like I always say, never look back and keep moving forward. Later, guys, and have a wonderful week.